good morning thanks for joining me welcome to may's beauty spot video where we talk about all things beauty so this month we're going to start with a quick look through this month's glossy box we're going to i'm going to try on some new to me products and give you first impressions and brief sort of reviews of my opinion of those my glasses are steaming up why does this happen in every single video i film um yeah new products and then i'm going to try on the eyelashes that i got in last month's beauty spot the three quarter length ones so stay tuned for that and then finally i'm going to talk about some of my favorite spring and summer blushes she says as it pours down with rain outside so without further ado let's get stuck into it and i'd like to say thank you to glossy box for sponsoring this part of the video um this is what this month's box from glossy box looks like can we take a minute to just appreciate how lovely that is isn't that gorgeous i love the color scheme the gold on the but pale blue it just, it just says summer holidays doesn't it which i think we're all craving i know i certainly am anyway that's what it looks like so let's have a quick look inside it oh look it's all color themed in this beautiful gold um sorry yellow and blue look at that isn't that cute with the yellow ribbon and the blue tissue paper oh my heart goes pit of patter so before we have a look at the products i just quickly want to tell you about glossy boxes offer this month they have an offer if you take any subscription out um so they start from a one month subscription so basically just a one-off box one month three months six month or 12 month subscription um they will give you another free box to the value of 75 pounds the contents of that value of 75 pounds so that is a pretty good offer you need to use my code which i think is just mrs m but it's all in the description box below so do click through and have a look at that if you are interested right let's have a look at what's inside we have one two three four five items and we will start with this which is a lemon shower gel from qeshi naturals i love a citrusy shower gel so that's right up my street oh that's delicious perfect for spring and summer really really nice lovely jubbly we then have oh rodeal that's a brand i like and this is their dragon's blood eye mask do you know my eyes have been i've really felt that my eyes are getting so baggy recently i've been a bit fed up about it all really um aging is a privilege isn't it so i shouldn't moan about it but anything that can help my eyes i'm right up for at the moment so i will definitely be enjoying those they are depuffing biocellulose eye masks so yay for those i'll try those in um, either a weekly vlog or um on next month's beauty spot i will come back and give you a review perhaps let's see right next we have okay this is a replenishing this is from the brand mine it says mine tan body and skin not a brand i know but this is a moisturizing after sun gel um We'd need some sunshine first, but once we get some, that would be nice. It's got aloe vera and niacinamide in it, both of which are very good ingredients for our skin, aren't they? Let's just, oh, I think it must be sealed. It's not coming out. Bear with that's what it looks like. Oh, that's very nice and cooling. Oh, that smells lovely. Very fresh and clean sort of smelling. Yes, very pleasant. Feels nice and cooling on the skin. Does everything that an after sun should do. That's good. Right, next we have a something in a box. Let me see what this is. It is a definer liner, smudge proof with an inbuilt sharpener. I can't read the brand on this. Let's see if it says it. So eyeliner by Ciarte. Um Ciarte was originally a nail polish brand, wasn't it? And expanded into cosmetics, I seem to think. I'm not going to spend hours. It's got one of those wrappers on it, so I'm not going to spend hours picking them off because those are a nightmare, those wrappers. I could go into a whole rant about how these wrappers are just impossible to get off, but I'm not going to do it. So just, yeah, it's a Ciarte eyeliner, a defining eyeliner with an inbuilt sharpener. And then finally, we have a product by Lottie London. Look at the holographicness of that. Isn't that pretty? Um, which says, um, power, fort, power Foil Metallic Eyeshadow. Right, that's that. And, oh, this looks messy. Um, it's got a little 
trying to think the best way to show you. I don't want to get that all over my carpet. It's a sort of loose-ish glittery eyeshadow. Um, I'll get a little bit on my... Oh, that's nice actually. Very smooth looking. That's... Oh, that's actually nicer than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be really glittery and um, bitty, but it's actually really smooth. That's really pretty. Oh, I like that. Perhaps we'll use that as one of the products to try on for next month's beauty spot video. I think that might be nice. Anyway, that was a nice selection of products, wasn't it? I think my favourite was the lemon shower gel. I think I'm right up for that one. Oh, and the um, eye mask as well. Looking forward to trying that. So, as I said, all the information in for Glossy Box will be in the description box below if you want to buy a box and get a free box as well. Right, let's move on to this, this month's new product try-ons and the eyelash try-on. So, I filmed that previously, so I will insert that now. Are we focused? I think we are. Let me bring you in just a little more. Um, first product I want to try that is new to me is this e.l.f. Beautifully Bare Foundation Serum with Goji Berry and I have it in the shade Fair Stroke Light. I've had this for a while but haven't yet tried it. Don't know why. Get it out of its packaging. I think I need to shake that up a little. Gosh, that's very liquid. I've just put it on the back of my hand and that is very, very liquid and there is hardly any hardly any um it's not shaken up hardly any pigment in it look it's like almost nothing let me just um oh that's bizarre that's just oh i don't think that's for me that's got literally hardly any pigment in it surely that can't be right it really is that liquid. It's like it's like water. I've never come across a foundation like that before. I mean, that would be a foundation that you would use if you really did not like foundation and wanted base. It feels like oil on my face. That God, I'm wondering if that's gone off. You know, that can't be right. That literally feels like slippery oil on my face. I'm not going to be able to do anything with that. So let me get rid of that. Goodness me, that truly was the worst foundation I can remember ever trying. <laughs> that wasn't good at all. Um, right, I've put on, I had to change my foundation completely. So I've got foundation, powder, I've done my brows. Can't wait to get my eyebrows microbladed. I'm having them done in a couple of weeks. I cannot wait. Um, so the other two new products I've got to show you are an eyeshadow palette, so we'll do eyes in a minute. But this bronzer, which came in a box, I think I showed, or the Nip and Fab box that I showed you recently from Look Fantastic, so should say it was gifted. Um, this was that lovely sort of very glowy bronzer that comes with a dropper like that. So I think I'm going to drop it onto the back of my hand, blend it a little and pop it on with my fingertips. I feel like that might be the best. I don't want to get too much on. Oh, that is very glowy. Yeah, I feel like fingers is a good way to go with that. It's nice. It's quite... Um, yeah, you certainly won't need a highlighter with that. There's a lot of glow going on in that it's quite sticky it does dry down quite nice and quickly which is good i don't like blushes liquid blushes that sort of sit on your skin and don't ever dry that does feel as though it's drying super quickly as i pop it on actually i just want to blend that so i'm just going to use a soft brush to blend that a little bit more and perhaps sort of top it off just to finish off Oh, I do like that. I feel like that's a really nice colour. It's qu it is quite metallic. I feel like it's not probably an everyday blush, but that would be lovely on a holiday evening. I can just imagine that with a tan and without foundation or anything. Um, you know, it's a lovely, glowy, warm, golden bronzed goddess type look on holiday. 
but um yeah i very much like that what was this thing called i'll link it below anyway in the description box for... yeah i've just looked at that blusher in the bathroom i'm it it looks very bright to me in this I'll, I'll move back after i've done it so you can see it but i do like it i think it's a very nice finish um right i wanted to try out this little three pound palette that i bought in primark um on my recent post lockdown hol um, primark haul you'll have seen this it's nice sort of berry type colors so i've already put my eye primer on which is this makeup revolution one and let's see let's go with this middle one at the bottom it's a bit of a crease color um see how we get on with that i don't hold out a whole load of hope for this being an amazing eye palette although i have got a primark eye palette that i really like so you can't always assume at the worst from something that's really cheap plus those um little elf eyeshadow quads which are three pounds i think they might be four pounds now they're just amazing um quality for the price really well that went on quite nicely actually let's see how it blends i'm just going to use a blending brush to blend that a little bit yeah i feel like that's not too bad at all it's quite a nice color um i'm just going to use i can't tell if that's matte yeah this sort of matte one up here just to blend up through the brow bone where that colour's hitting because I feel like that's not blended perfectly it just could do with a little bit of a softer edge there there we are and then let's try let's try this sparkly sort of rose go actually no I'm going to put this matte you can't see the colour of that very well it's like a matte lilac I'm going to start with that all over my lid and see how that performs I suspect again I'm not feeling oh it's better than I thought I was not holding out a lot of hope that that was going to be particularly amazing but in actual fact that's gone on really nicely for a very cheap matte eyeshadow plenty of pigment do you know what just goes to show you can't always judge an eyeshadow palette by its price or a book by its cover do you know that's really nice i'm really impressed with that shade i think that's super right i'm going to pop over the top of that there's a sort of champagne -y shimmer shade that's the word i'm looking for i'm just going to pop a little bit of that onto my finger ah that one doesn't look to be the best yeah there's not a lot i was just going to sort of do the inside half of the eyelid with that but i am not getting a lot of is that anything going on there not really maybe a little tiny bit oh this shade is actually got a lot of pink sort of micro glitter in it it's not as champagne as i thought it might be to start with yeah that shade's not for me i don't think um let's try the one below it down here this middle one and see what we get from that that is far more of a pink shade oh yes that's nice it's going over that sort of inner corner to about halfway across the eyelid I do love that matte lilac I think that's a super colour and then for the outer corner I'm going to use this purpley colour up here which looks like sort of mm, I feel like that's not quite a matte and not quite a shimmer it looks to have a little gold fleck in it but it's difficult to tell without putting it on yeah I'd say that's more matte oh that's a nice rich colour oh, I like that you know, I reckon we could have not bothered with the pink on the inner part of my eyelid. I think it would have been nice just with the pale lilac. Right, let's get a fresh blending brush and blend, blend, blend that. 
Right, I'm then going to take a little stubby brush, this one here, and go again into that top purple shade and take that underneath my eye about two thirds of the way across and just a little bit on the top as well. Do you know what? I think that's super. I really like that. Pleased with that. Right, I'm just going to finish off with mascara and um, then we will have a go at doing the eyelashes. I'll show you. So, here is the finished look. Quite pleased with it. Um, obviously the foundation was a complete fail as far as the new products went. Um, the blusher I really like. Um, I would definitely use that. I don't think it goes particularly well with the eye colour, I have to say. I wasn't thinking of put. I should have... Um, I think it would go better with a more neutral eyeshadow look. I think you need a more pink blusher with this very purple eyeshadow look. But um, as a standalone product, I think the blusher is great. Um, and I'm really impressed with the eyeshadow palette as well for three quid. I was not expecting great things, but I'm pretty impressed with it. I think it's got a couple of shades that weren't as good as the others. But overall, pretty impressed with it. Right, let's go and have a go at these eyelashes. Not going to lie, feeling quite trepidatious about these eyelashes. <laughs> so these came in a one of the beauty boxes um, last month, I think. Was it the Look Fantastic one? They're three quarter length eyelashes, which I haven't tried before um, by Iga. I will link them in the description box below if I can find them. Um, they're apparently reusable for five wears and there is glue included and they have 18 hour hold should you need that <laughs> um i am not good with putting on eyelashes i do have the eyelash tweezers i think i got these for, i think these might have come with some eyelashes but i think you can get them on ebay I, i'll link again i'll link below um <laughs> let's see if they work first shall we how we get on with them so this is what we've got here, two eyelashes. Um, they look quite, they're called Light and Wispy number 11 and they do look quite light and wispy compared with a lot of the frankly terrifying looking eyelashes that you get um, these days. And you see some of the youngsters wearing. <laughs> right, God, is that meant to be the instruction leaflet? Saints preserve us. Okay, I take it back. The instructions are on the back. So we've got step one, measure and trim. Well, presumably we won't need to trim as they are three-quarter length, but we shall see. Um, step two, apply adhesive. Step three, wait 20 to 30 seconds. Step four, attach to lash line. Well, that all sounds fairly simple, doesn't it? Just trying to get into the glue. So you get a little thing of glue like that and okay so inside it's like a solid sort of brush so right let's just pop that there let's get hold of the eyelash i'm going to bring you forward i don't want my eye to go out of shot god that's terrifying um and let's get the eyelash in the tweezers and just measure that God, I can't even measure it against my eye. I need my bloody specs on just to do that. I can see this is going to be a disaster of unparalleled severity. So lengthwise, it looks all right. It's a little bit more bendy than my eye, but I've got it grasped in here and I'm gonna put the glue on. I mean, how much glue do you need? Should you be particularly generous with the glue or not that generous? I don't know. Well, that's all the way along, so. Oh, right. So we'll just chat amongst ourselves while we have to put the glue on, so. Oh, there we are. Right, well it's stuck. 
or it feels like it's stuck at that end, maybe not at this end so oh god no it hasn't stuck at all how do you get it in to where it's supposed to be that's what I have the problem with it sort of rests vaguely on the top in the vicinity but it doesn't sort of stick on god this is going to be a disaster oh that felt more like it that sort of went on that time well that sort of stuck god it looks ridiculous like i've got a spider in my eye i bet you if i went and spoke to ashley you wouldn't even notice that i had that on which is bizarre because it looks to me absolutely insane i feel like it doesn't look as though it's far enough over but perhaps i'm being picky let's have a go with number two which is always more difficult because it's my right hand eye and i am left-handed there's glue everywhere it's a gluey disaster oh god no that won't sit down at all oh oh no 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 it's bad The whole thing seems to have stuck to the tweezers, that isn't good. I don't think it's meant to be like that. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, oh god, there's just too much glue going on, I think. Okay, <laughs> right. This one, I would say, it's really hard for me to see in the viewfinder. Let me push you back a bit. And let's go out of this very harsh light so I might look a bit less shit. No, um, this one, there was too much glue and it ended up getting all the eyelashes stuck together. Um, this one, there's not too much glue. I fit, This one went better, which is always the case with me and false eyelashes. Sorry, just let me get you angled a little better. Um, oh, where are we? There we are. Um, yeah, the left, this one here went better, um, which is always the case with me in false eyelashes, because I'm A, completely hopeless at them, B, I'm left-handed, so this one's always going to end up better. This one just got mangled up with too much glue, I think. Um, I tend to put too much glue on because I find that they, they're very hard to stick. So this one, the positioning is sort of better. It's more down to this corner of the eye and this one's too far this way towards my nose I think but I think we can say it was pretty much a disaster I mean I have got two eyelashes on but I don't think my eyelashes look particularly nice very difficult for me to tell without my glasses on so I just wanted to follow up with that um, I kept the eyelashes on for a while a couple of hours and I actually got a little bit more used to them and I feel like I gave them more of a bad rap than they deserved I actually think they weren't bad at all at having let, given them a bit of time to bed in and look at them and get used to the feel of them a bit more certainly the three quarter length ones were way easier for me than trying to get the full length ones and chopping them down and then them looking a bit uneven and all of that so and I think with practice it would get easier to put them on but um, so, so yeah, I feel like they weren't a fail. I haven't ripped them off and put them in the bin, put it like that. I have kept them and I will try them again on an occasion when I am actually going to leave the house next time. So they weren't a complete disaster, let's put it like that. So I'm being open-minded towards the three-quarter eyelashes. As I said, they're definitely better than the full-size ones. So finally this month, I wanted to talk about spring and summer blushes and... I feel like in spring and summer I head towards the more pinky coral tones. I want a nice pink or a nice coral. I think those are the good sort of tones for spring and summer um, rather than the deeper more berry tones that perhaps we head towards for winter and autumn. Autumn and winter even, why did I say it that way around? 
So the first one I want to talk about is this little one, which was a originally a viewer recommendation. This is the Max Factor Miracle Touch Creamy Blush in the colour Soft Pink. The writing on these is insanely small. That's a very old person thing to say, isn't it? But this is just a really nice pink. It's They do say that a nice pink blush is a very youthful look on aging skin. Pink is a good universal colour for everyone. But pink is not a single colour, is it? There's a lot of variations of pink out there. And this is more of an orange toned pink, I would say. That is what it looks like on my finger, and I'm going to try and swatch them all for you onto my arm. Um, bear in mind, this is not the colour you're going to get on your um, face because you're going to blend it out, but that is a really nice sort of orangey tone, more of an orange tone underneath, more of a red toned pink, I feel like. Um, I feel like this is a very wearable pink for people who have more of a neutrally toned skin. Um, I really like that one. I got this from Amazon. I don't know if it's still available, but I'll, I'll link them all below if I can find them. I haven't checked yet if they're um, still available. It's also a nice small size this. The next one I want to talk about is this Rimmel Royal Blush, which I've used on and off for a few years. This is in the shade Majestic Pink. This again is a cream blush. Do love a cream blush. And that's what that one looks like. And this is far more of a blue toned pink than the one above. You will see the difference, I am sure that it is got that sort of much more blue undertone in it. This, sorry, I should have said that this one, the first one we talked about was the one that I'm wearing today on my cheeks. And um, this one is more blue toned, this bottom one. You can definitely see the difference between those. But again, this is lovely. This is more of a sort of bubble gummy pink, sort of a um, sugar pink type. I don't know what you call it, but that, that sort of much more blue toned, cooler toned pink. Let's move on now. Slightly more expensive one. This one I got when I was in America. It's in a little from a little set, it's by the brand Tarte, and this is a powder blush. And this, I would think this is a perfect, this blush is the equivalent of a pair of nude shoes. You know that beigey nude shoes? This is a really perfect sort of suits everybody nude tone. It is called Party with Three A's. There you go, who knew? As I said, this is a powder blush, and let me just pop that one onto there. This is obviously, again, it's quite intense, more, more intense than um, it would be on your cheek. And that is, it's not quite pink, it's not quite peach, it's not quite coral, it's just a really nice neutral blush. And this one goes onto your cheeks so beautifully, it's matte, but it just blends out really beautifully. It's a really lovely blush. When I first used that, I was so impressed with that. I just wanted to try everything from Tarte straight away. Still haven't done that, but um, I, re I really, really rate this as a perfect neutral blush. This would go with any makeup at all. You could put this on and it would just be perfect with any sort of colors and shades and everything. The final one I want to mention is from a palette. This is a very nice peachy coral blush. It's from a brand called Profusion Cosmetics. It's very, very good value for money. If I can find this palette, I will um, link it below. Um, it's called a six shade blush palette, but the one that really has impressed, there's a couple that I really like out of here, but the one perfect for spring and summer is this one down here. And the formula with this is so unusual. It's like a, cream to powder it, it looks like powder or maybe powder to cream it's very difficult to explain what it's like but it's such a lovely blendable that's that that's the color not swatched and then let's just put it under there and there it is at the bottom there it's just such a nice coral peach tone again quite a youthful vibrant really nice perfect for spring and summer lifts everything up just sort of lifts your complexion and makes you feel i think blusher is such a good thing for making us look a little bit more youthful and um, healthy as well i'm not necessarily youthful i don't suppose we should all aim to be looking more youth youthful should we really 
but um yeah just it makes us all look a little bit more healthy and well the name of this shade by the way is delight i might be able to find it by itself who knows but um as I said, I will link all those. So those are my picks for spring and summer blushes. You've got your pinks at the top there, and then a very nice neutral one, and then a really nice bright peachy coral tone at the bottom. My perfect spring summer blushes there. Right, that is it for this month. Um, thank you for all your suggestions on last month's beauty spot for things you would like to see. I have made a note of them all and will endeavor to incorporate some of them into future videos i hope you like you a lot of you said you wanted to see the eyelashes so i hope you enjoyed that portion again do let me know if there's anything you'd like to see me try or talk about on these monthly videos and yeah that's it for today all the information in the description box as i mentioned and again thanks to glossy box for sponsoring that first portion of the video thanks for watching Bye bye